Hashtag BBC This is Africa TIA This is Africa This is Africa This is Africa Oh yeah Ha Up boy This is the sound of Hussein Dada one of the Gambia's most popular rappers. It's the first single off his new album and it's called Thomas Shelby after the hero of the international hit gangster drama Peaky Blinders which started life on BBC TV here in the UK. Black on black like Tamara. Hussein Dada has been visiting the UK and while he was in London he took time to tell TIA about himself and his music. Africa and Gambia in the same time. I do music, rap music, and I've been doing this for quite a while now. But today we on BBC and it's about to go down. My fans call me Bad Boy Dada. I gave that name to myself back in 2021 when I was working on my first album. The name actually came from this guy who works in the entertainment zone. You know, he works in the entertainment zone there like the, 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 the pioneers. You know, they started this whole show bees thing in Gambia. So his Facebook name at some point was Badman Wagon. So I wanted to be like Badman Dada. And I was like, nah, let me just use Bad Boy Dada. And then I ended up naming my first album Bad Boy Dada itself. So right now I have three albums out. My first album came out in 2021. My second album came out in 2022 and my third album came out in 2023. So this album we had a couple of futures, most of the futures are from Gambia and then we had a couple of futures that came from Senegal and I think one from Guinea Conakry. I have Tati Tati from Guinea Conakry and I have one lyrical from Senegal and I had Authentic Zeus from Senegal as well. And from Gambia we had Jizu, ST, Attack, Uche, we had all these guys on the album. Too many but to name a few. I started music as a career back in 2016. I just finished high school, like two years after finishing high school and then I just feel like I had passion for music like music is something that I've loved from day one from I was a little kid every time I just play a beat and then be freestyling so before I know I started pending it down you know because like freestyles cannot make sense like the ones you pen down so back in 2016 me and my guy um, there's this friend of mine called KB we were just sitting and he was like you know right now you're not working you're not doing anything so why not you just dive into the music because you have you have the talent because we always freestyle together so i was like if i gotta do this you gotta be in there with me so like that's how we started this whole music thing we started and then we were laying low because like we were scared about what the family is gonna say whether they were gonna accept me as an artist or not so we were just doing it on the low and but then we kept pushing even though there was a lot of difficulties and obstacles but you know what man gotta do man gotta do and then we kept pushing and then yeah that's what got us here today I'm a Muslim my mom's a Muslim my dad's a Muslim I repeat to him we uh, like Muslims that take the religion very seriously so from the village I come from they don't know what music is because they too deep into the religion the Islamic religion so my family reacted in a very very bad way because you know like that's not our culture that's not what we are accustomed to so I kind of faced a lot of difficulties at that beginning period till the time I had a record label deal in that same year just five months after I started like six months that was when okay they seen that okay he's not he's not joking with this it's actually working out for him as, as a career like it's a work for him it's actually pain it's paying him so then even though they didn't accept the music but they just accepted me for who I am and this is how we just coexisted this is how we learn to just accept like how to deal with it but till date you know they will still tell me when are you gonna leave when are you gonna quit when i but then still we're on it we're here most of my music talks about the youth and their challenges because from where i come from gambia we have youths going through a lot of challenges especially youths are not that much aware like they don't have people to guide them through how to go about with life so this is these are the topics that i always talk about in my music in my own language because i'm a maninko and the system sometimes you know how the system can be confusing to the youths and all of that and sometimes i do talk about a little bit of love because like you know 
Man has to talk about that at the end of the biggest challenge for young people in Gambia is the lazy mentality. Like Gambians believe most, um, some of the Gambians that are there will believe that um, opportunity only comes when you leave the country. But they don't believe that like if you sit in the country, you can actually make ends meet there. So most of the time you have the youth um, just always talking about how to leave the country to better their lives and all of that. So, but then you will come to realize that there are people in Gambia that has never seen abroad before and they are living good, they are making good money because you know why they believe in their hard work and they keep working hard to make sure that like they are going to make money and take care of themselves and take care of their family and take care of the community. So the youths out there just need somebody to be educating them on certain things so they could know that there is a bigger picture to life than just traveling and like real like, because there is a lot of people that travel and then they still stuck here they are not making nothing out of it so you just need to believe in yourself and be hard working you know and be less like don't rely on people too much the dependency rate over there is too high my biggest song right now i would say would be tana taylor because it's the only song of mine that actually has a million views 1.2 million views on youtube and it's a song that i collaborated with um a friend you know a friend a mentor you know, um, um, and, a, and an artist that I've always looked up to even before I became an artist. His name is St. Bikama Boyo, St. The Gambian Dream. He too is a Gambian artist. So we did this song back in 2022. Um, and it goes like this. Go milk a hustle every day, getting paid, Tana Taylor. Tana Taylor, Tana Taylor. I'm from a hustle every day, going in Kudu, Lekka Bea. I'm all about the money, I don't need no drama I'm for you and come on like a drama And what we get is for my mama Kakoro before Sama yeah, that's how the hook goes. So this actual song is telling you that if you work every day and you hustle and make your money, then you are good at the end of the day. That was in Maninka and a little bit of English. Sometimes me and my team will actually organize shows just to give back to the community give back to the hospital, give back to our local areas, give back to things, people that will actually use the money and then help themselves in so many ways, buy food for like the less privileged because these are all like as a patriotic citizen, these are things that you have to do at the end of the day. I also partner with a charity organization called Binti because I know the importance of like teaching young women about themselves and how they need to be aware of like you know the way their body changes and all of that so binti is an organization that actually helps women to actually know how to use the basic stuff that maybe they might not know back home so when i was told i was like i want to be part of this movement because i know how it is like being a lady and not knowing things like this like little things like how to like use pads and all of that so me i'm here as a brand ambassador for binti where we come from africa mostly i'm not even going to say gambia communication is a problem between a child and their parents or a child and their siblings because like these are things that they feel like it's too sensitive or things that they should not talk about so this is just to ease communication between people and i feel like this is something that's very needed in africa in general Right now, musically, what I'm working on is an album, and the name of the album is Louder. Yeah, so this album is going to be out on the 25th of October, by God's grace. The work is almost done. Right now, it's like, before I even came here in the UK, we've already recorded, like, most of the songs. We already have two singles out, Thomas Shelby, and then the second one, Enemy Lit. So these are two singles that are out. We're going to release one more single before October 25th. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Hussein Dada from the Gambia. So I would like to tell anybody out there that has never been to Gambia, I would like to tell you that Gambia is the best place to be at on planet Earth. Like Gambia has the sweet weather, it has nice beach, 
and then it has like beautiful people with good personal like people there are just amazing the atmosphere anybody that comes to gambia they don't want to go back like that's that's the vibe that i'll be having from gambia and every time i'm out of gambia if it's two weeks i want to go back like i want to rush back you guys just come just come to gambia gambia will take care of you guys i promise all of you guys out there hussein dada from the gambia we look forward to your new album dropping in october this has been this is africa from the bbc a show that brings you fresh sounds and bright stars out of africa 